Well, hi all, I'm Tony. This is S V Tapatia and we are building a cruising sailboat. And if you follow, you're probably aware that last time in the last video we moved the boat out of the garden and the and the backyard where I've been building it. Where I start I started in the shed. And then later we pulled it out onto the onto the grass area in front of the shed. And so the boat had been there for, for five and a half years. And last week we managed to get her out of there on a trailer trucked her up to here which is the yard on the hard of a marina up on the Baltic Sea coast of Germany. So we're here, there's some fellas over there working on a big motorboat in a, in a shed. They've got radio blaring out which makes it sound like a permanent fairground here. Livens the old place up. Uh, but this week's video is going to be uh, very, very different because because the situation is completely different, completely, and it's been a bit of a culture shock, frankly. And I'm so used to being at home, looking out the window, seeing the boat there, thinking about it, and when I'm working on the boat, everything you know, tools and and screws and everything you need is there. And now we're up here. And of course, I emptied the boat out completely, with the exception of cushions, to, to transport her up here. So when we got here, she was empty. We've got nothing. I've got no, no tools, no equipment, no screws, no anything. So I've spent days basically just sorting through things at home, loading them in the car, bringing them up here, trying to get organised. And, and I say, culture shock, it, it's really... <laughs> it's been completely different and I also something else I found this throughout the build whenever I achieved a major step like the rollover for example or hauling her out or whatever those major steps, getting the keel on. There's always been a little bit of a flat after that where you sort of have to reorganize yourself, get, get your direction back together. And this week has been very, very much like that. I say, shipping things up here getting ready to go now the important news i think is that yesterday i went into the marina office again of course i've been in there a couple of times but i went there and talked about launch dates and i haven't got a fixed date but i'm looking at mid july clearly the transport was delayed a bit so i've had to delay the whole thing but you know but it, it needs to be flexible anyhow because i need to do it in my own time when i'm ready so also got a couple of family events round about that I've got to fit between. So mid-July is what I'm looking at. And then we should be able to get in the marina here, a, a berth in the marina for a couple of weeks while I rig her and get ready to sail. And so I'm hoping that by August, early August, the start of August, we're sailing. That's what I'm hoping. And that is very much the goal. You know, that is a firm goal to be sailing by the start of August. Now, another thing that set me back a bit was that I had to have a bit of dentistry done. I had a toothache, put me out of action for one day, and then one day at the dentist and recovering from that. So two days out with, with that. And that's another thing, I think, that when you're aiming towards these big goals, you know, your body keeps going. And when it's finally achieved, there's a kind of 
and if you've got any issues that's when they crop up and you know a tooth certainly did give me some jip then but we're up here we're up in the marina I've got small jobs done. As I say I've been a lot of it's been shipping things up. The goal below the waterline, finish the epoxy sealer. So where my wood blocking was, uh, those four parts there, quite large areas. There's no paint at all on those. So finish the epoxy primer on those. Also where the keel was sat on wood blocking, clearly I couldn't paint those parts. So I've got some VC tar to do in two small places but some VC tar to go on there unfortunately the marina have blocked it up on one of those so I still can't get at it and I've spoken to them about moving their wood blocking and hopefully they'll do that soon the guys I say this the guys in the office here are fantastic I, I've never met better you know customer service brilliant 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 so they, I'm sure they'll come around and move that wooden block so I can get to that forward area with, for the VC tar there. Then I say, uh, epoxy primer sealer. I've got two coats on those bits that were missing so far. I should get maybe another four on today. I'm going to try to get four more on, so that's done. I've put a second coat of anti-foul on the sail drive. And I've got this, just grab it. This, you know, it's not the main rubber boot, the main rubber boot's in the engine room basically, but this rubber fairing piece goes up around the sail drive leg and glues with Sika to the bottom of the hull. So that's to go up and I should be getting onto that very soon. I think Kerry's going to come up at the weekend with me and we're going to aim to get the rubbing strakes on. Kerry did come up and we put the bimini up and all the side rails and all that so that's all done and looking great again and the, the cockpit area sheltered the, the companionway sheltered so that's very very good and i say a lot of bringing things up and sort him starting to stow things away but you know i'm stowing things away and the, almost certainly won't be their final locations. I need to get everything in here and then think where the best storage is for it. Also, I need to get some more stowing boxes and you know containers for kit. So yeah, that's been a massive thing this week and, and obviously not the most exciting thing to video. Today, it's the morning, I'm up here. I'm aiming to get epoxy sealer on those four places. Uh, that's my big aim. If I can get four coats on those things, I'll be very, very happy. And one or two other little jobs around the place. So things to think about today are these cleats each side for the running lines plus also there I've got four of those cable glands that are going to go up for the wiring up to the panels through the bimini so time to drill some holes
and there was one little job that I did while we were still at home and I've sadly lost some of the film of it but that was to fit these cleats that you see there on each side and uh, as you might imagine it's the usual drill and drill fill drill palaver put them down with butyl through bolted and the backing plate I'll show you the backing plate down below they look like that with the backing plates and that if I step back you'll see that's above the galley sink so there's no danger of hitting your head on that it's all perfectly safe But of course, there are still a few jobs that can be done here in the workshop. And uh, this week I did one of those. And in fact, um, recently somebody asked in the comments about the winch handle for that winch that I fitted. You know, it's, it's a very old, solid bronze, very, very nice winch, but it has this square drive on the top that you might remember. And And actually, a couple of years back, I put out an appeal um, to try and find a winch handle for that winch, and uh, that was unsuccessful. I did get an offer of a couple of winches with handle, but it was all, all a bit too much. I only really wanted a handle. So, what came of all that is that I discovered that a 7 eighth of an inch socket fits perfectly on that square. So I bought a socket, a deep socket, and I've welded it to a piece of stainless. There's the socket. And I've welded that to this piece of stainless and I've cut that to a, you know, a fairly pleasing shape, <laughs> roughly. And then I put a 12 millimeter bolt up through the other end of that and I've turned up a piece of POM as a handle. And there that is. I've now fitted that. So there's the entire winch handle with the socket at this end piece of stainless and the and that all works very well and 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 looks good I say that seven eighth inch socket is a perfect fit on the square so perhaps a bit rudimentary but fine it will work do the job I don't anticipate using that winch much but when I do there's a good handle for it <laughs> It's a bit rough, but it'll certainly do the job. So I've got these flanged 12 millimeter nylock nuts. It's a beautiful thing, stainless. And uh, that's gonna go in that recess in there, which I'm drilling with this spade bit, 25 mil spade bit. And that fits in there beautifully, very, very nice. I just gotta make sure it's deep enough. This whole nut is, um, best part 16 millimeters 
So I need 16 plus a bit of recess in there to make it fit. And at the moment, I don't think I've quite got enough. And this cuts well with a bit of oil. the one there we have it yeah it's coming out well right well, it's a momentous occasion the first food on the boat avocado tomato mayonnaise baguette it's the first time i've eaten on the boat incredible mm. start of new things it's already a bit like traveling because i've had to explore the area find the food shops and all that you know get a few bits in so in the way it's the start of the boat travels